Pittsburgh taking on New England at Foxborough. Both teams can clinch with the victory and a little help. Our own Eric Clemens caught up with pro bowler LaVon Kirkland outside the team's hotel. All right, JB, I'm with Pro Bowl linebacker LeVon Kirkland of the Pittsburgh Steelers. And LeVon, first of all, tell me about this, man. How can this team have a defensive back lead the team in sacks, first of all, <laughs> as you get ready to go up against New England? I don't know. Uh, we've been bringing them off the corner uh, pretty good. And he's been doing a lot of good results for us. He's coming off the middle. And uh, we're actually sharing a lot of sacks. I mean, uh, I think he has six, I have five. So we haven't had that guy to just break out and get like 13 like we normally do. Does this uh, bring back bad memories of uh, what happened in the playoffs last year coming into this game? And how do Carnell and the rest of the guys feel about redeeming yourselves today? Oh, we definitely got to play well today. Last year was uh, actually quite embarrassing for us. We came here with the playoff experience, expecting to do well. And we're hurt, we're banged up, um, and we didn't do as well as we want to do. But um, we forgot about that game and trying to come up here and play this game this time, today. From a defensive standpoint, what do you have to do defensively to keep Drew Bledsoe and the Patriots offense off balance and get a victory? Well, we just have to do that, keep them off balance, uh, maybe disguise a little bit, show them different looks, show them different blitzes, and just try to come from everywhere. All right. My final question for you real quickly. How important is it to sew up that number two spot for the playoffs and get that first round by? <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you, it's very important. I mean, it's, um, it's good to get in the playoffs and you want to do that, but if you can get just get a chance to get home field advantage, you definitely want to do that also. So um, we definitely need this one. All right, LeVon Kirkland, right. thank you very much. Thank good you. luck in the game today. Right. LeVon Kirkland of the Pittsburgh Steelers. Now let's go back to JB at the Fox Television Center in Hollywood. Guys? All right, Eric, thank you very much. And that can happen for the Steelers with the Steelers' victory and and, of course, a Jacksonville loss or a tie. Who do you like in that contest? <clears throat> yeah, actually, I, I mean, you're not going to be surprised if I would go with Pittsburgh. I like the way Stewart has been playing. Remember that game last year? He came in, was 0 for 10 in that football game, and then the bus. Well, he was injured. He had a growing injury, only 43 yards rushing. But this is a different football team now with Stewart having a full season to play a quarterback. And I still have a hard time thinking, even though they're at home, Howie, that New England can beat Pittsburgh. I think Pittsburgh's a LeVon better team. LeVon Kirkland, the Matt Mellon of today's linebackers. That's right. 290 plus. <laughs> <laughs> Glad he said it. All right, folks. Second half of the contest coming up, Washington and the Giants. Giants, will they win the NFC East title? We will find out. Washington has got an uphill battle ahead of them. We will rejoin Dick Stockton and Matt Millen after this. Sunday, after an all-new World's Funniest, in the tradition of Ben-Hur comes a new hero. Jump in, Mark. Throw the kids. No time for the baby. On the Simpsons. Ow. Then the boys' wrestling team <laughs> is no place for a girl. That a boy, Bobby. On a brand new King of the Hill. And her past is a mystery. I'm her mother. And someone wants to keep it that way. Move away from her! And all new X-Files. It all starts Sunday at 7, 6 central. They're called the homeless. But what you're seeing are people living on the streets here in the nation's capital. That's one problem the United Way campaign supported agencies are tackling in our town. Hi, I'm Ken Harvey of Washington Redskins. I'm on a United Way community-wide team working to ensure food and shelter for the homeless because we know that working together, we can help people who really need our help. The NFL, the United Way, and you, the power of teamwork. My name is Charles McWhite, and I'm a senior ticketing specialist for the Jacksonville Jaguars. For each Jaguars home game, we handle approximately 73,000 tickets. Well, I do see the players uh, pretty regularly. A lot of times when they see me, they say, hey, ticket man. But most of the time, people just call me Charles. To a typical Jaguars fan, a ticket serves as a rite of passage. And I guess that kind of makes me the gatekeeper. We were testing a formula for the removal of warts. My brother had a wart. It was hideous. The formula was effective, but there were side effects. First, test subjects developed an irrational fear of cheese. Here's a cracker. Oh. Would you like some cheese? <laughs> then the wart started growing before they fell off. I remember thinking, if a wart can grow, why not a puck? Halftime at Giants Stadium with the Giants leading the Redskins 20 to 3. And emotions of a meaningful late season game between these longtime rivals, the Redskins and the Giants. We'll return for the second half after these messages from your local Fox station. Special. No 
fellow great Americans. This is Applebee's Great American Steak Dinner. For only $9.99, you get a juicy grilled sirloin, salad, bread, and two side orders, like baked or mashed potatoes and all oh, baked beans. So come on in for Applebee's Great American Steak Dinner. Because there's nothing like a steak that brings out the great American in you. Hello, Wade. You belong at Applebee's. You've waited all year to buy a truck because you've heard that this is the best time to buy. Our inventory must be cleared out for the 98s. Well, this year your Northland Ford dealer has decided to simply let the incredible deals speak for themselves. Now get up to $17.50 cash back or financing as low as 2.9% on vehicles like Ranger, Explorer, Windstar, even heavy-duty F-250s and F-350s. But only during Ford's year-end clearance. So get to the place where the deals speak for themselves. Get to your Northland Ford dealer today. Fox 48. on Fox 25, Fox 48. Catch Talking Football on your home for the Packers. Yeah. Getting ready for the start of the third quarter, the Giants leading the Redskins by a score of 20 to 3 in this first half highlight is brought to you by 1-800-COLLECT. Charles Way's impressive touchdown up the middle after a turnover. And a nice job by the offensive line and then Way right at the end just running through two block, uh, through two tackles rather lowering his shoulder. I, you know, that kind of typified what the Giants had to get done and did get done in the first half was, was good physical football. Matt, other than the obvious, the turnovers, which uh, gave the Giants a big edge, uh, what has impressed you in this first half uh, from both teams? I think Danny Cannell. I think Danny Cannell is, uh, is seeing things and getting rid of the ball fast. I think he's being decisive. I think that's a big plus for the New York Giants offensively. And then I think the other side of the ball is, is you hate to say it, but it really does come down to just simple, basic football holding on to the ball and I know I know we said aside from the miscues but <laughs> that's the bottom line that thing flopping around you can't win when you hand the ball away let's take a look at the halftime statistics and of course you'll see the three turnovers committed by the Redskins but look at the rushing yards the Redskins uh, North Turner thought they could run on the Giants they have averaged uh, 3.1 yards per rush and I think more than that is is how to see it that would have been different had the score not been this way because there were times in the in the second quarter they were able to get a little bit of a rhythm going and they had some running game going and now that's been taken away Giants have had the edge in the field position because of those mistakes but uh, we have a 30 minutes left to play the Giants leading 20 to 3 New York will get the ball first to start the second half. Eric Pegram, who had a 50-yard kickoff return in the first half. This is a squibber. Pegram bobbles it inside the 10. And Pegram, a uh, flag goes down as Pegram stopped at the 17-yard line by Patrice Alexander. Overcast now. Uh, we didn't have a, any clouds in the sky when we started, but plenty of them now. And that will set the Giants back. Penalty against New York. There is the uh, sky. It's gotten uh, cooler, colder. Lights are on here at the Giants Stadium and temperatures in the uh, low 40s. Holding against the New York Giants. So that all the field position that they had in the first half is now going the other way in, to start, obviously. They were outside the 20, now they're inside the 10-yard line. So Danny Cannell will start from his 8-yard line to begin this third quarter. Here's Charles Way, nothing there as Mark Boutet 
coming in to make the play along with Ryan Keel. So uh, not much on first down. What the Washington Redskins had hoped to get done defensively was to turn this game into a nine on eight game by taking the two wide receivers and matching up the two corners and then letting everybody else play inside. And the advantage that they would have had, or at least in theory, was that there would always be one unblocked guy in that extra safety. David Patton and Chris Calloway split to the right, but another running play, and again, it's Charles Way, and that'll bring up third down and long. You see that right there, Jesse Campbell? He represents the unblocked man. Then you walk that extra guy up, you can't account for him. And he comes up late, and so he becomes your advantage, the extra guy. And Mike Nolan will uh, dare the Giants to throw against the Redskins' uh, vaunted cornerbacks. There you see Amani Toomer come in. Chris Mims, who had been hurt, is uh, checked in for the Redskins on the defensive line. Third and nine out of the shotgun. First down, the whistle had blown, no fumble. And there you see Barber is short by about two and a half yards. Chris Dishman making the tackle. So the Giants will have to kick, and the Redskins may be looking at their best field position of the day. It's a nice job defensively of just taking things away from them deeper and forcing Cannell to have to throw underneath where you can make a play. Brad Maynard. Rookie from Ball State. And over end and Mitchell on a bounce is going to let it drop and the Redskins will get good field position as the Giants down it on the Redskin 48 yard line 20 to 3 in favor of the Giants we'll be right back. Some decisions are harder than others. The Chrysler Sebring LXI Coupe or the Sebring Limited Convertible. For the passionate side, fully independent suspension, speed-sensitive steering, multi-valve V6, and a luxurious leather-trimmed interior. The practical side, lease the convertible from just $2.99 a month. And on the Coupe, get a 1000 cash back and luxurious leather at no charge. Some decisions are easier than others. Chrysler, engineered to be great cars. Buddy, I'll trade you my scarf for that last Bud Light. Come on. But the hat? That's fair. <laughs> what more could you possibly want, huh? Oh. <laughs> you got a raw deal. For the great taste that won't fill you up and never let you down. I never said it was the last one. Make it a Bud Light. At Intel, technicians are building something that can help build your business. The Pentium 2 processor. It gives you the power to create a rich, interactive storefront on the web. Opening your doors to new customers wherever they are. NFL special is brought to you by Chrysler, engineered to be great cars. By the U.S. Army, be a part of the toughest, smartest army in the world. Be all you can be. By 1-800-COLLECT, it's the way we call Collect today. And by Bud Light, if you want great taste that won't fill you up and never lets you down, make it a Bud Light. Best starting position for the Redskins. 48-yard line. Hostetler 11 for 19 today. That's what he was in week 13 against the Giants. He threw three interceptions then. He's thrown two today. But the Redskins with an opportunity to cut the gap, and the pass intended for Westbrook is well short, bringing up second down. Westbrook did not catch a pass in the... Uh, first half after grabbing nine a career high against the Giants for over a hundred yards three weeks ago well three weeks ago what happened was Philippi Sparks started playing on Michael Westbrook and they and they quickly made a switch to the other side now today what's happening is Jason Seahorn has followed him right now they have a matchup with Thomas Randall Sparks 
Rice is not going to return, we understand. And this pass is tipped. And intercepted flag is down. Scott Gallion on the deflection. Now they rule that it is an incompleted pass as Wooten and Gallion converged on Michael Westbrook. But flags are down. And now that's going to probably go against the New York Giants. What a great break on the football. That was a zone. They sat down in a zone. Westbrook broke back to the inside. And Tito Wooten broke on it really well. Now you have to allow the defender the same right to the football as the receiver. He ran through it. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's a good call. That's a good call. And that will give the Redskins a first down. Referee's uh, microphone, Tom White's microphone is dead. Well, what happened the first time, see, he tried to turn it on while it was on, and so he turned it off, and now he's messed up. He probably, well, I know he... Remember in the first half yes. he had it on? He wasn't sure. So he got that little switch right over here in that little pack there. So he got messed up. It went from on to off, and now, he, now it's off when it's supposed to be on. Give him a new switch. First down for Hostetler at the Giant 41. Going deep and wide open. Touchdown, Albert Connell. And a big touchdown toss by Jeff Hostetler. 41 yards to bring the Redskins back here early in the third quarter. And Albert Connell, the rookie from Texas A&M, with his second touchdown catch in as many weeks. Remember that Jeff Hostetler says, I know the young receivers better than I know my established guys. Remember also that people think that he can't throw the deep ball. That is wrong. He can throw a run to it ball. That's what this is. Lay it out there. Let the guy run to it. Safety was inside, and he was able to get to the middle of the field for six. Scott Blanton with the point after, and it's good. And the Redskins now trail 20-10 to 10 early here in the third quarter. Redskins making a comeback here at Giant Stadium. We'll be right back. Jim Harbaugh and Jay Lewenberg for 1-800-COLLECT. Jim, next time you call me collect, call me 1-800-COLLECT. Jay, give it a rest. No, 1-800-COLLECT is 10 cents a minute every evening all week long. Yeah, are we going to practice or what? You said you was 1-800-COLLECT! Think Jim's learned his lesson? One more play ought to do it. 1-800-COLLECT, 10 cents a minute every evening all week long. It's the way a house smells when there's bread baking in the oven. The way mothers make sandwiches just right. It's the way we try to know each of our customers by name, or at least by sandwich. And it's the way all your favorite things combine into something even better, right before your eyes. It's probably why people rate us number one in quality, survey after survey, even though it can be hard to answer questions with your mouth full. Subway. It's the way a sandwich should be. There are cars that are built to appeal to your passionate side and to your practical side. With a passionate cab-forward design, argent aluminum wheels, air, multi-valve V6, and at no extra charge, a new leather-trimmed interior with an eight-way power driver's seat. For the practical side, the new Chrysler Sirius LXI is just $18,995. Loaded. Chrysler, engineered to be great cars. The only thing worse than knowing your wife is having an affair... Oh, my God. ...is seeing it all on tape. A brand new Melrose Place, Monday. Redskins getting their first touchdown of the game. A 41-yard pass from Hostetler to Albert Connell. 52 yards in two plays. And the Redskins trail by 10. And once again, Jeff Hostetler comfortable with the young receivers on this team. As Albert Connell, James Thrash, and Chris Thomas have gone to the youth. And there's youth on both sides. You know, you have a young safety in Sam Garns. And they were sitting there in a two deep, which usually means you try to attack it, attack it to the middle. That time, Connell was able to get to the inside and credit the old dog Hosteller for seeing it quick and getting the ball out there where he could run to it. You know, Matt, you were talking so long about the referee's microphone. That's why we have a delay while they fix it. Dead? And it's fixed. They just changed the switch. Albert Connell, in his first 14 games, had three catches. Today has matched that and has tacked on 30 yards. More important, the big catch beating the Giants' defense to the tune of a 
41 yard strike and there is the little rascal there on the uh, hip yeah they, Tom White. they went from the little little black one out of they went to the, the white one over there <laughs> Tom White is all ready now and uh, Scott Blanton will kick off this is going to be a, a pivotal possession for the Giants whose lead cut to 10 right now for Danny Cannell and the offense Blanton is kicking off Eric Pegram off his hands, and Pegram at the five-yard line, nowhere to go. And he'll be down inside the five by James Thrash, and now the Washington Redskins are definitely aroused with their team. They have the Giants backed up. There's one, there's two. That's a two deep. Here's the weakness, right down the middle. Nice job by... Connell to be able to get it and get the safety too far to the inside, which opens up the middle. And then this safety can't get over there in time. See how Hostetler threw the ball? He threw a run to it ball. He just threw it over the top and let him run to it. Now look at Michael Strahan. See, he knew the weakness of the defense, and he's dogging him back there saying, you've got to get that job done. Giants who have had poor kickoff coverage and returns all year. Cannell out of the end zone, deflected, caught by Charles Way out to the 11 yard line gets nearly eight yards it was tipped by Kennard Lang but the pass completion gets the Giants out of deep trouble I mentioned earlier I thought that Charles Way was the best fullback in the league and you know what I'm almost 100 percent sure of it and here's why he does not stop his feet in the blocking game he runs through people he's an excellent runner between the tackles but he also catches the ball well out of the backfield and that combination that makes him that good Second down and two, and the pitch is to Tiki Barber. And Barber will have a first down. Marcus Patton makes the tackle. So a, a deflected pass and a run by Barber, the rookie from Virginia. And the Giants have a first down, as Matt mentioned. Giants had hoped to have a more wide-open attack this year, but the injury to Ike Hilliard, the number one pick from Florida, who hurt his neck, Barber is shaken up during the year. He's still not the same. No, he's not. You're Tiki right. Barber has lost that little bit of magic that he had early in the season. He had that make you miss, and I don't think he has that right now. Two tight ends for the Giants on first and ten. Here's Charles Way on the counter, and Way, with Kennard Lang on his back, picks up uh, nearly five. And this is what they did in the first game that Ken Harvey's got to get straightened out. And he comes up, and they're running a counter OT, the old Washington Redskins play. You're going to watch him to the outside. He's got to come up, and he's got to force things to go back inside. But he takes his thing head up right there, see? And he's able to get back outside because he's not turning it in. Ken Harvey all over him. Harvey was all over him as right. I mean, that's, the coverage doesn't get any better than that. The reason they have to throw inside is because look what's happening on the outside. Daryl Green on Callaway, nothing to go. Then you look to the other side and you have Chris Dishman working on David Patton. Again, nothing there. So when you have those two corners shutting down the outside, you have to go somewhere else. And that's a nice job of coverage, but an even better job by Cross of using his body as a basketball player and just getting his position. Five catches for 51 yards for Howard Cross and a first down for the Giants. So they started from the five-yard line and Howard Cross has nearly a third of his season's catches coming in with five today and an unlikely source of uh, offense for New York. Well, I mean, you know, unlikely and you, on one hand. On the other hand, you say, well, why haven't they used him up to this point? I think part of that reason is because Cannell now, I think Cannell has a better grasp of what to do in these situations, and he's going to the tight end. First down at the 26, and Barber had slipped and was down immediately for no gain. And Barber might have hurt himself a bit. Yeah, I don't, like I said earlier, I don't think he's 100% anyway. But when you think about these Giants and see where they've, where they've come from and the metamorphosis that's occurred, they came in with Ike Hilliard and they were trying to push the ball down the field. And they were trying to go with hurry up, increasing the pace. And a nice job by Fossil to change that to realize what he has and to use what he has. Darrell Pounds, the nickel corner, is in the game. Three wide receivers for the Giants on second and ten. Is toss 
pass, and they right. rule an incompleted pass. That's that's a good call, and and the right call. He was going to try to hit the slant to the inside, but Darrell Green jumped it so fast, he tried to pull it back, but the ball just came out, which will set up this third down. Watch Darrell Green working on Chris Callaway. He's going to try to take away something, and he just runs. He has the speed, so he can close. That was what he was trying to get, and Cannell saw it, tried to jump inside, oh, and just thought better of it right there. Talking about Darrell Green, by the way, playing in his 217th game, surpassing Monty Coleman's record for the most games ever played by a Washington Redskin. Third down and 10, and Ken Harvey, who sacked Danny Cannell three times in the game in Washington, gets him here, and a big loss on the play of 10 yards. Now you roll the dice, and that's, that's what Ken Harvey has really done in the last four games. It's really picked up his pass rushing game. You see him lined up outside. He's their only real legitimate pass rusher. And what happens is the same thing that happened in the first game. It was a miscommunication between Tiki Barber and Roman Olbin. And they've essentially blocked no one. And Ken Harvey just used his speed, ran past no one, and got a sack. And once again, the Redskins could be looking at golden field position. And here comes pressure on Brad Maynard. They got a piece of it. Brad Maynard's kick deflected and will be down by the Giants. They'll have to pick that flag up. If they got a piece of it, they have to pick I it think up. they got a piece of it, but we'll get a closer look as the Redskins sent a bunch He's in on Brad Maynard. Who's asking right there? See, he went to the umpire. Albert Connell called for the penalty. It would be a first down for the Giants, but uh, did, did you see what he did? Tom White went to the umpire and asked him if there was a tip. And you saw the umpire shaking his head. He didn't see the tip. Let's take a look at it ourselves. Here comes Maynard. There's the snap. That's hard to say from that. It doesn't look like it was deflected. It does not look like it was looking at the way the ball came off. It was not deflected. It appeared that way, but he kicked it to the left, Matt. That's a good call. And it was a good call. So the Giants, as a result of the penalty, will get a first down on their own 30-yard line. The way it came off his foot, it looked like it might have been tipped, but it was not. No, he just shanked it. Only the second penalty on the Redskins today. First and 10 at the 30-yard line. Danny Cannell's pass, and that is intercepted. Now they rule it. Oh, they incomplete. don't know what it is. No, now they're going to give it a... Oh, that's it an interception. An, Stanley Richard picks it off. First, an official said incomplete. It looked as if Richard picked it, and it is an interception by the Redskins. Everybody kind of stopped. Let's see. I, I thought this thing hit the ground. He gets his hands under. It oh, hit the ground. That's, it hit the ground. Yeah. That wasn't a catch. No, it wasn't. But that's like the Tampa Bay game here a few weeks ago where they gave an interception when the ball hit the ground. Same scenario. Two sparks. And Felipe Sparks picked that thing up. So that uh, should not have been an interception, but uh, it is called one, and that is the third of the year by Stanley Richard. And the Redskins get it in giant territory at the 46. First turnover of the game by the Giants. Ten-point New York lead, but the Redskins on the march. And Jesse Corey Widmer with the interception on the first play. So interceptions on back-to-back -back plays. And that's the last thing North Turner wanted from an experienced quarterback like Jeff Hostetler. Jamie Asher, the tight end, was the intended receiver. That kind of evens it out, though. Yes, it does. Because it was it was a non-play, and now here's an excellent play by Widmer. Widmer just ran with Asher, and then did you see how he did that? When Asher looked, Widmer turned and looked. <laughs> that's an excellent play. Second interception on the year by Widmer. And that is the third interception thrown by 36-year-old Jeff Hostetler. Five turnovers, four by the Redskins. Giants first and 10 on their 24. And Charles Way looking for running room. Flag is down, and Way picks up about four and a half yards. Derek Smith making the tackle. That's going to be a hold in the Giants, and they'll take that one back. That'll be first and 20. That a flurry of plays in a short sequence here. Holding number 53. Offense. Lance Scott. 10 yard penalty. First down. Jeff Hostetler's numbers in uh, the Giant game at Washington three weeks ago and what he's done today. Now you can see the 
<laughs> one thing that's been constant has been the interceptions. And, you know, to be fair with them, two of them, one bounced off, and the other one he just threw up for grabs at the end. That was the first real interception. First down and 20, way blocking for Tiki Barber. And uh, he brings out four yards on the play. Right now, for a McDonald's game break, let's return to James Brown at our Fox Television Center in Hollywood. Other great moments for the Redskins and Giants. 82, a good year for Mark Mosley and his foot in the snow. Mark Mosley delivers his record 21st straight field goal. That helped the Redskins to nip the Giants. Washington went on to win its first Super Bowl. That one was over Miami. Back to Dick and Matt. How come we don't have snow and wind and cold weather today? We have a beautiful day and we're looking at snowflakes in every... What I'm looking time. at is a straight-on kicker. That's a thing of the past. That's That's right. That goes by the way of the Brontosaurus. Second down and 16. Donnell getting pressure, and it's Chris Mims, who was uh, picked up from the San Diego Chargers. A loss of four yards on the play, and that is the second sack of the game by Washington. And they did a nice job of coverage, and it's, and it's up here at Stanley Richard. They're going to try to, he's going to look up top. You can see the coverage, one, two, three. Now, here's what he thinks he has, but Richard stays over the top. And because of this, the sack occurs down below. Redskins have not gotten much of a pass rush from their defensive line this year. But they did there, third down and 20. Canel underneath, dropped by Tiki Barber. And that will bring up fourth down. And again, the Giants will have to kick from uh, close to their end zone. Watch David Alexander. Now you're playing zone, and you're, if you're Keith Thibodeau, number 32, the one thing you want to do is disrupt the pattern. And that's the best way to disrupt it is knock the guy to the ground. Brad Maynard, who was rough the, the last time he attempted a kick. Brian Mitchell standing in midfield. best of the day and Mitchell muffs it and the Giants recover and it's David Patton the former arena league receiver and the rookie from Western Carolina and another Washington Redskin mistake Giants get it in the Redskin territory that's the sixth mistake five turnovers plus the bungled punt gives you six Look at the turnover margin, 19 in the first 14 games, four already today. Watch David Patton right down here in the bottom of your screen. That's just on Brian Mitchell. I mean, that's, there's no two ways about it. Hit him in the top of the chest, he misjudged it. Mistakes by people you don't expect to make them, like Mitchell and Matt Turk. And there is the reaction by Brad Maynard and the Giants. Leading 20 to 10, have a first and 10 on the Washington 31. Danny Cannell with play action. And Cannell has a receiver, and this is intercepted well short. Stanley Richard nice job with his Richard. second interception of the game, and Cannell with a bad pass, well underthrown, and it was intended for Aaron Pierce. This is phenomenal. The only thing that's happened is field position. Other than that, it's starting to look like their first game three weeks ago, Matt. Ugly. Teammates sponsored by the U.S. Army. Be part of our team in the Army. Beware of the Panthers. A new look offense is keeping postseason hopes alive in Carolina. The emergence of rookie running back Fred Lane complements the steady combination of quarterback Kerry Collins and the most productive tight end in the NFC, Wesley Walls. The trio has the Panthers growling again in the NFC West. It's freezing. It's quiet. But you get used to it. You grow to love it. Snow Fox 2-1. This is Snow Fox base. This is Snow Fox 2-1. Then a storm comes up. And I'm the one who's got to get us out of here. And I remember who gave me courage. This is for them. For my mom and dad who never missed a game. 
for Drill Sergeant McCardle, who showed me what it takes to be a leader. Visual contact, Sergeant. And for myself, who became one. It is 180 degrees from expected. It is a leather-trimmed interior, available heated front seats, and an Infinity 10-speaker audio system. The new Chrysler Town & Country LXI. Built on the belief that great cars appeal to a more passionate side. And now, it's available with $1,000 cash back or a very special low lease rate. Chrysler, engineered to be great cars. Ever been robbed? Nobody here. Okay. Learn how to stop a jewel thief. I would take those. An all-new America's Most Wanted, America Fights Back, tonight at 9, 8 Central. This game summary is brought to you by Bud Light. The Giants with a field goal and two touchdowns in their first three drives because of Redskin mistakes. Five turnovers plus the bungled punt by Turk. Albert Connell on a 41-yard touchdown catch. And after a turnover, Redskins ball again. First and 10 on the 13. Stephen Davis going up the middle. You see the turnover and the interception. Right here is Aaron Pierce. He's going to run it out and up. And what happens is Cannell knew what he had, and it was the right decision. It was just a poorly thrown ball. And then Fossil on the sideline was mad at him. He's just saying, just throw the ball away. Throw it away. But actually, when he watches the tape, he's going to realize that it was the right decision to try to make the play. He just didn't throw it well. Stanley Richard with two picks today. Second down and six. Hostetler looking right, throwing left. Westbrook, and it's incomplete. Nice it job. Incompleted pass, broken up by Tito Wolf. Yeah, Jason Seahorn is right there. Seahorn got the hand. In. Jason Seahorn is playing a very, very good football game. You now, we've been talking so much of Grishman and, uh, of Dishman and Green. Jason Seahorn is doing the same thing. He's really picked up his game. Balls and see how he pulls it away. That is right. excellent. Great play by Seahorn. That's excellent. Does a good job. Watch the right hand. Slap it down. Pull it away. The ball should have been caught by Westbrook. However, excellent job by Seahorn. Third down and six. Hostedler down. Let's see if it's a fumble. It's not a fumble. Michael Strahan, though, will get the sack his 14th of the year. And now the Redskins will have to kick as the Giants could look at good field position. Nice job down the field in coverage and an excellent job by Strahan up top working on Big Edge 776. Just goes with the bull rush, runs right through it, and hits him right in the kisser. That's just a power move by Strahan, one he pulled off flawlessly. Turk will kick a Monty Toomer back deep, a high snap, and a good kick by Matt Turk. He leads the NFC in punting average. A Monty Toomer diving toward midfield, and the Giants with 4:29 remaining in the third quarter, leading the Redskins 20 to 10, will start virtually at midfield. Unusual game. We have had back-to-back -back interceptions twice today. When was the last time we've seen that? When the last time we saw 14 sacks was <laughs> 15 LT had an 89 and Strahan threatened to uh, to jump to that. He's really played well. I, and I think you can credit the inside too for getting a push. However, on that last sack, that was all Strahan. Penalty as well. An eligible member of the kicking team downfield, number 54. Penalty is declined. First down for Giants New York. Will take the ball on their Time own 49-yard line. Jason Seahorn, special teams play against Darrell Powell. Giants ball when we come back to Giants Stadium after this. From the beginning, car design started from the outside. But at the Chrysler Corporation, we like to look at things differently. So one day we asked, why not start with the people and work out? It started a revolution called Cab Forward. Cars that are roomier, more interesting to look at, and more fun to drive. And now that we've built more than two million of them, it's time to ask, why not keep pushing it? At the Chrysler Corporation, it's how we build great cars and great trucks. 
They created their microprocessor in 1971, and the faster their chips have performed, the faster their company has grown. Today, the Intel design is the brain behind the majority of the world's PCs. By the 21st century, their chip could execute two billion instructions in one second. Where do you learn about such fast-thinking companies? NASDAQ. Shaping the new world of investing. On Saturdays, your customers can receive two-day packages from FedEx for an extra $10. On Saturdays, your customers can receive two- to three-day packages from Priority Mail for no extra charge. On Saturdays, your customers cannot receive two-day packages from UPS. Sorry. So, for the holidays, what's your priority? Switch to Priority Mail from the U.S. Postal Service. Giants 20, Redskins 10, 429 to go in the third. Tomorrow, another Fox NFL Sunday doubleheader and a big one. Playoff implications all over. Howie Long picks his tough guys for the season in the pregame show. Cowboys on the brink against Cincinnati. Tampa Bay needs a win to get in the playoffs. Green Bay, Carolina. Packers already have won their division. First down, Giants. And Tiki Barber gets into Redskin territory, but not by much. A gain of about a yard. Jamal Duff, the former Giant, making the tackle. There's a couple of guys on Howie's tough guy team who were playing in this game today, and I, I think one of them is at Charles Way. I think he's a tough guy. I think the more you watch him, the more you appreciate the kind of football that he plays. He's also out of the University of Virginia. As is Tiki Barber, second down and eight, and Wade gets a little bit of an opening, which closes in a hurry. Ken Harvey making the play, and a gain of three. That was a nice play by Ken Harvey that time. That time, same kind of run. They're running that counter OT at him. Remember the last time they were able to get to the edge. This time, he jumped to the inside. So he's changing things up. That's nice adjustment. Barber and Toomer come into the game for the Giants, and the two tight ends go out. And there you see uh, strength up front. The dime package in. Keel goes out, and Chris Mims, who has a sack in there for the Skins defense. Third and five. Toomer, and that pass looked like it uh, might have touched the defender the way it came out. It did come off kind of weird, and I think it was a deflection, which is why they didn't throw the flag on it, because you're going to watch right here. Hand goes up, he hits him. The reason they don't call it is because the ball was deflected coming off. And that's an excellent job. Yes. You see, it was whacked right there by Toomer of going to the ball. First down for the Giants on the Redskins 32-yard line. Way's ability to catch and run in the opening game of the year against the Eagles. He sparked the Giants' offense to their upset win in the first game. One area that this Redskin defense has had problems has been in just holding up to the run. But where they've been great is in, in terms of points. They've not given up a lot of points in the season. They've allowed the third fewest in the NFC. Second down and six. The pitch to Tiki Barber, and he's got Jesse Campbell to contend with. Dives forward, and a short of the first down by two yards. But this second half has been marked by turnovers. We have had seven turnovers in all. And this is just here in the second half. There was the first one. There's the second one. And then it didn't end there. Then you had the interception. Richard. by Stanley Richard and actually he had he had two of them the other one was really a non-interception which they're going to credit credit him for Canell in his second year and Hostetler in his 15th four turnovers in a seven play span in this game third down and two coming up and the Giants will call a timeout with a minute 22 remaining in the third quarter we'll be right back I'm Iron Head Hayward. I'm used to challenges, and I challenge you to try Zest Deodorant Body Wash. Now, I hear you snickering. But I ain't had. Aren't body washes for ladies? Ow. Listen, chump. Zest doesn't have heavy moisturizers. But I ain't had. What's with this thingy? 
That lather builder works with Zest Body Wash to give you twice the fresh smelling lather of this bar. And it rinses cleaner. So you're cleaner, more refreshed, period. Zest Body Wash. Get cleaner, more refreshed. Get Zest fully clean. I can't do anything without the instructions. Nothing. It's okay. She's got other presents. They were just here. They are right here. I just had them. We'll just hide this till her birthday. She's been wanting this for a long time. Counselor, and it's bedtime for money. Now, which battery will last over 30% longer in these palm top computers? Duracell or Energizer? Energizer. Someday, buddy. May I take your order, please? A spicy chicken sandwich. Wendy's Spicy Chicken is made with Dave's own blend of pepper and spices. It has a spicy hit that'll warm you up. Yes? Whatever the weather. I'll have what he's having. Tonight. Oh, look what Santa brought this good little girl. Yeah. Power down! Please, God, don't let Howie Long be a nickname. On a brand new Mad TV, late night tonight. Season's greetings. Not too early to wish people that, Matt, as we uh, have our first Saturday broadcast in uh, December. Giants with a victory win the NFC East. The Redskins take the upper hand if they win this game, creating a tie. Third down and two for the Giants their timeout on the skins 24 and it's a running play to Rodney Hampton he's got a first down to the 20 and he wasn't going to get it without Charles Way leading the way up front and where he ran is right behind Greg Bishop that left guard remember Bishop messed his ankle up early right here now watch Charles Way they start a one way excellent job by Way on the backer Derek Smith and then Hampton just does the rest so with Tyrone Wheatley out of action with a sprained ankle, it is Rodney Hampton in his first action of the year. And Hampton again carries to the 15, and this is the kind of running they had hoped from the veteran, the all-time leading rusher in a giant uniform. He gets five yards on that play. And they're doing it. And they're, and they're just wearing him out inside. And again, that left side, Greg Bishop's over there, Roman Oban's there. Lance Scott the center, but the key to the whole thing is Charles Way. And the ball controlled by the Giants becoming more underscored as we go along. Hampton driving to about the 12-yard line, short of the first down by two. Hampton and Smith making the stop, and the time running out in the third quarter. As this crowd will have a lead after three, and that is the end of the third quarter with the score of the Giants. Will continue after these messages from your local Fox station. I'm her mother. An all new X Files, Sunday at 9, 8 Central. On the next NYPD Blue, New York City's a battleground. It's a hell of a way to start the new year. Crooks against crooks. Who shot you? Go with Jerry Fermento. Cops against cops. You're out when I say you're out. I won't rat on my own people. And cops against crooks. How's your life? Highly confident. Green light. On the next NYPD Blue. Tonight on Fox 25, Fox 48. Welcome aboard. A relaxing family vacation. A Category 3 hurricane is coming our way. Began a journey they would never forget. Welcome to Atlantis. Trapped in an exotic world of temptation and danger. You shall all die. A world broadcast premiere. Escape from Atlantis. Today on Fox 25, Fox 48. Sunday night on Fox 25, Fox 48.
then. Did you follow the instructions? Yes, look at the food explode. Sunday night on Fox 25, Fox 48. Come on, I like that. Sunday mornings at 9.30. Out of the fourth quarter here at Giant Stadium, Dick Stockton, Matt Millen, and Pam Oliver. Redskin scoring a touchdown in the third. A flurry of turnovers in the third quarter as the Giants lead 20 to 10. And as we start the fourth quarter, have a third down and three inside the Redskin 15. They've got to this third and three on the strength of Rodney Hampton just straight ahead. And then Charles Way, oh my goodness, Charles Way <laughs> just pounded people inside. You see that ugly guy there? There's a stretch of the game, the stretch of the game here in that third quarter that the game looked like that guy's yes, face. It did. Ugly. Third down here is Hampton going outside. Rodney Hampton maybe shy of the first down as Derek Smith, who has played well, the rookie from Arizona State, one of two rookie linebackers who have played considerably. It'll be fourth down and less than a yard, it appears. Sometimes I think you outsmart yourself. I think you start pounding things. Here comes Charles Way. Bang. Here comes Rodney Hampton. Bang. Here comes third three. You go outside. Sometimes you think a little bit too much. I think I believe in the old adage. If they don't stop it, keep on going. Make them stop it. And they hadn't stopped it. And uh, they're going to have a measurement here as the Giants looking to see how much they need for the first down. No decision has been made whether they'll go for it, and it looks like a healthy yard. It is a full yard. So with that, the Giants send in their field goal team. Brad Deloiso, who has kicked two field goals today, his first from 41, and in the second quarter from 28 yards. This still makes it a two-score game. At 23, you could get two touchdowns and two extra point, two uh, two point conversions. You'd still turn it into a 26-23 game. 28-yard field goal attempt. Daluiso looking for his 38th straight inside the 40. and the Giants have extended their lead to 23 to 10. Bill, you forgot the recycling. Uh, Bill's always been one to do his part for the environment. That's why he drives the new LEV Accord from Honda. It meets a 70% lower emission standard than regulations require without any sacrifice in performance. Huh? <laughs> nice play! Thanks, Bill. Nice pants. Dockers. Khakis. Disney's Flubber has bounced into McDonald's and theaters near you for a holiday event that's gonna rock. For a limited time, our very own tempting and cheesy triple cheeseburger is back for just 99 cents. Or you can kick off your morning with a world-famous 99-cent Egg McMuffin. But you better get moving. Go Flubber. Go Flubber. Or you'll flub up your chance to get your hands on one. This Fox NFL special is brought to you by the 1998 Honda Accord. An Accord like no other. By the ISIS cellular phone from Philips Consumer Communications. And by the irresistible taste that makes you say, did somebody say McDonald's? To indicate uh, that this rivalry may be back in a big game late in the year, today's attendance is a Giants record. Here at Giants Stadium, 77,571 on a Saturday. Christmas shopping, that's quite a testimony. Daloiso with a line drive kick out of the end zone. A 
touchback, and the Redskins will start from the 20 yard line. Well, tomorrow on an all new X Files, she was a mystery when Scully found her, but even more mysterious are the people trying to take her away. What's the secret behind Agent Scully's daughter? Watch an all new X Files tomorrow at 9, 8 Central on Fox. I think I'm looking up at the scoreboard. I'm thinking a two-point conversion. You don't even need it. You just need two scores, which is why they kicked that field goal. So you have to force them to have the two scores. Redskins have had the ball less than two minutes of this second half. Jeff Hostetler to throw on first down, and his pass and that was intended for Chris Thomas incomplete. And right now for McDonald's game break, let's return to James Brown at our Fox Television Center in Hollywood. Dick and Matt coming up tomorrow. Howie Long unveils his fourth annual Tough Guys Award. Nominees include the rough and tumble Mike Allstott. Larry Allen draws blood whenever he plays. John Randall, I'm going to say all nice things about him. That and more tomorrow. Matt, I know you've got some ideas. <laughs> Yeah, like they need, the Redskins need a couple of them right now. Second down and 10. Strahan trying to put pressure on Hostetler. And this pass is intercepted. Jason Seahorn down the sideline. And he's going to score. Touchdown, Giants. Ball was well thrown. Michael Westbrook slipped on his break. Seahorn. Watch Westbrook come out of the break, falls down. Thing. Six quick the other way. 35 yard return for a touchdown. Jason Seahorn with his fifth interception of the year. First return for a score. And the Giants defense, which has set the tone all season long, capitalizing on turnovers and getting scores and leading now 29 to 10. Earlier, though, in the fourth quarter, Brad D'Aloiso with the touchdown, and it's a 20-point giant lead, needing a victory to wrap up the NFC East, and they're well on their way. Before releasing NFL Game Day 98, we asked Robert Brooks to check it out. Get to him. Get it to him. Okay. Do it to the house, baby. To the house. Oh, great. To the house. To the house. To the house. To the house. Oh, you see? Yeah, 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 yeah. Good. 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 You like that, yes? Good, Dan. And the dance. Okay. You like the good. No. Do you like the graphics? The graphics are tight. What do you mean by tight? Dope. Okay, great. Does that look like you? Come on, man. You see what's okay. going? Okay. You know it's polygonal this year. Polygonal. Trust me, it's a good thing. Touchdown! All the Touchdown! All the way. Uh, 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 <laughs> come on, man. Hey, that, that don't show my breakaway speed. Well, I would never say that you lost a step. What? It's uh, <clears throat> the numbers. What do you think now? You still think I lost a step? Honey, you went out for milk three days ago. Come home now. It's just more fun to drive. The all-new Accord. In the tradition of Ben Hur comes a new hero. Jump in, Mark. Throw the kick. No time for the baby. Ow! On The Simpsons, Sunday on Fox. Jason Seahorn with a second career touchdown off an interception, giving the Giants a 30 to 10 lead. Want to remind you as you look at Jeff Hostetler's numbers against the Giants, seven interceptions in a game and a half, and the Giants. Giving this crowd something to cheer about, and it's been a long time between cheers for the New York Giant fans. Kickoff by Daloiso, and it'll be Brian Mitchell at the five-yard line. Mitchell finds a seam and finally brought down at the 31-yard line. So the Giants... In the fourth quarter, if they go on and hold their lead, they will capture the NFC Eastern Championship and host a wild card game. 
Redskins, of course, uh, if they lose, will not control their own destiny. But, of course, they still have a shot at the playoffs if they drop this game to New York. First and ten at the 30-yard line. And here's Stephen Davis. Armstead got him first, and then... Tito Wooten. It's been an interesting year because a lot of the attention in New York was centered on the New York Jets who signed Bill Parcells who coached the Patriots into the Super Bowl last year. Jim Fossil, a quiet man coming over from Arizona. No one knew about him. The Jets got a lot of the early play. Tomorrow, fighting for their playoff lives, they need to win against Tampa Bay and then need help. But who would have thought that the Giants of the two New York teams would be in this position at this time of the season? Second down and seven at the 33. and it's caught by Jamie Asher and Asher brings it to midfield it's a Redskin first down and a gain of 16 and actually I I expected to see more of that out of Hostetler today and you can credit the giant defense because his legs really have not been a factor in the pass rush game the coverage has been there and then when it's come time for Hostetler to have to use his legs to buy time the rush has has gotten to him or forced him to have to throw the ball Redskins with a first down on their own, 49. Hostetler has Asher again on a slant, and he gets down to the giant 31-yard line. Tito Wooten on the play, and that was a gain of 20, so Asher with back-to-back -back catches. Now they're just going to try to cover him with Corey Miller, and it's just basically a mismatch. He just took away the inside very quickly, and the ball was thrown on time. Asher coming into the game as the leading receiver for the Redskins. First down for Washington on the New York 31. Hostetler dumps it off, and uh, Stephen Davis turned around. That'll bring up second and ten. This game is presented by authority of the National Football League and is intended for the private use of our audience. Any rebroadcast or other use of this telecast without the express written consent of the New York Giants and the NFL is prohibited. Second down and ten. Corey Widmer with an interception. One of four by the Giants today. pass caught by Connell hit immediately close to the first down by a yard short Thomas Randolph who's had to play in place of the injured Felipe Sparks makes the tackle well he had to be able to get rid of that ball pretty quick because Michael Strahan again working that full rush the power move is able to get the pressure on Hostetler but not before he can let that thing go in time and Connell comes down with a catch you know since Felipe Sparks has gone out Thomas Randolph Got tested early, but then he's held his own pretty well out there. He has, and uh, Conrad Hamilton was shaken up. He got back into the action. Officials timeout. Westbrook and Ellard have been shut out today. They came into the game with 60 catches and six touchdowns. And keep in mind that Henry Ellard in particular has had terrific games against the Giants in the past, particularly when he was a member of the uh, Los Angeles Rams. Well, here's the key. See, Henry Ellard is not the same Henry Ellard that he was right. when he was with the Rams or even or even when he first got here with Washington. And he's got, there he is right there with his, with his jacket on. He's not going to make any catches there. And then Michael Westbrook, and I think that's probably the biggest thing, is you never know which Michael Westbrook is going to be there. To his credit, though, they're, they're making sure they're covering him with two guys. So they respect his skills. Third and one, and Hostetler tries to get it to Larry Bowie. Overthrown, incomplete. But you're right, the Redskins have counted on Michael Westbrook. Injured a good part of the time, and uh, sometimes has had some big games. Now watch Albert Connell working in the middle, so, and he runs right by Randolph. See, so he, he had him. He had about five.
five steps on him, and Hostetler never saw him because they're going to try to hit Bowie out in the flat. It is fourth down, and the Redskins down by 20 points. We'll go for it naturally. Fourth and one at the 22. to Larry Bowie, and he may not have made it. It'll be close. Giants indicating that they have held, but we'll wait for the official call. needed to get the first down a yard and we're going to measure and if the Giants held you will hear a roar go up short of the sticks. The Toyota Camry has been called a benchmark for all mid-price sedans. Automobile Magazine called Camry the best car built in America. It's America's favorite car. And to celebrate, Toyota's offering special leases and low APR financing on new Camrys, but only until January 5th. So see your Toyota dealer today and call Camry the best thing of all, yours. Disney's Flubber is bounced into McDonald's and theaters. And now you can waltz away with a tempting triple cheeseburger for just 99 cents. Or a 99 cent Egg McMuffin for breakfast. Now that ought to get you moving. Go Flubber, go Flubber. There's a turning leaf on the label. And changing ideas about wine in the bottle. Disney's Flubber is bounced into McDonald's and theaters. And now you can waltz away with a tempting triple cheeseburger for just 99 cents. Or a 99 cent Egg McMuffin for breakfast. Now that ought to get you moving. Go Flubber. Go Flubber. My name's Dan Mears of the Kansas City Chiefs. I take a lot of pride in wearing this uniform. And I tell people I go to work every day in a suit and a tail. <laughs> this Fox NFL special is brought to you by Toyota. Every day belongs to you. Make it count. Toyota every day. Back at Giant Stadium for an all-time record crowd. The Giants taking over on downs with a first and ten. Rodney Hampton hit in a loss of two yards. Tomorrow, playoff implications continue in the NFL, and on Fox, we've got a bunch of important games. Cowboys and Bengals, Buccaneers trying to wrap up a playoff berth for the last 15 years against the Jets is still alive. Lions and Vikings, a good one. And the second half of our doubleheader, Matt, Packers and Panthers in Carolina. And if the, if the Packers play the way they've played the last three weeks, they're nobody's going to beat them. They're on their way. And it doesn't matter if they're at home or if they're on the road. That guy right there, that Brett Favre, he's, he's back to where he was a year ago. He was the difference last week against Tampa Bay, for sure. Second down and 12, and here is Hampton again. Rodney Hampton gets some running room and finally pushed out of bounds close to midfield and a gain of 22 yards in Hampton's return to play this year. A nice job by Ron Stone. Again, remember Rodney Hampton's supposed to be the guy who's inside. But watch Ron Stone 65 on Kennard Lang. They do a nice combination and then here comes Charles Way. Excellent job on the safety and you have him into the second level. And again, he's a powerful guy. 
once he turns that corner, he squares his shoulders, he's tough to bring down, and so all you do is you just push him out of bounds. Nice job by Dishman. First and 10 at the 42, Hampton. In the action now, gets the call again with Charles Wade blocking, and Hampton is tackled by Derek Smith after a gain of two. Hampton, eight carries, 37 yards. In his return, he injured a knee, had surgery during preseason, played one preseason game, but uh, was not activated until this game. Darrell Green now standing on the sideline when this formation, they go with two tight ends and two backs. You have one wide receiver, and so they keep Chris Dishman on as their corner, and then they just turn it into a pound him kind of football game. Under nine minutes remaining. Derek Smith for the Washington Redskins as a rookie has really played well and and he's fought through a lot of things and one of them is learning a new defensive coordinator and then learning his teammates and I but I've seen his I've seen him get better as the season's gone on and I also think that he's he's going to have himself a pretty good career. Giants have rushed for 119 yards. The Redskins only 45. Well, the Redskins have not been able to run today. And a lot of it out of necessity. Third down and five. They fell behind early. Danny Cannell looking to run. And he's going to be stopped short of the first down. Gets into Redskin territory by Rich Owens. That'll be fourth down and one coming up for the Giants. Trying to get a feel for the not for the Giants from this game, and it's tough because, to be honest with you, you take away, and, and again, it all comes down to turnovers. I understand that, but except for the turnovers, their offense didn't really move the football, and defensively, they did some they did some pretty good things. But it's kind of a game I'm I'm coming away from thinking, well, that's not an excellent football team. You know what I mean? But that's what we said in game one against the Eagles. Exactly the same thing. So they've been consistent all the way through. Right? You tell me. Yeah. Haven't rolled over anybody. There's no question about it. But they have found a way to win. That's the key. Good and good teams always do that. They'll find a way. If you hand it to them, you have to be good enough to take it. This holiday season, Bond, James Bond. When it comes to adventure, no one else comes close. Lucky for you, I stop by. Tomorrow never dies. Rated PG-13. Stars Friday. took weeks for news to reach its destination. Today, neither time nor distance can keep us from sharing our lives. Hey, honey. Hey, hey. Can you get another contraction? Five, six, seven. Philips introduces Isis, the cellular phone that can let you talk up to six long hours. I love you, honey. Honey? Isis, from Philips. Dear Burger King, congratulations. This is a great day for all potatoes. Can't wait to make the big announcement at the press conference. See you soon. Crystal water turns to dark. Where'er its presence leaves its mark. And boiling currents pound like drums when something wicked this way comes. Introducing the faster, sleeker, meaner GS. Bobby Hill joins the wrestling team. This is offered through the school, right? Not some guy in a van with a camcorder? On a brand new King of the Hill, Sunday on Fox. Here are the remaining schedules in the wild card race in the NFC. Right now, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, the number one wild card team. They play the Jets tomorrow. One win gets them in. Vikings with a big one against the Lions tomorrow. That's a huge game. And the Redskins still alive will close against the Philadelphia Eagles, but they'll need help to make the playoffs, and that'll be next week as the Lions and Panthers all have a shot. First and 10 for the Redskins on the 14-yard line. Jeff Hostetler. And his pass is caught by Jamie 
last year. Hostetler, remember, 3-0 and coming back against his former team as a member of the Raiders. And, Matt, you were just talking about how uh, not much to choose other than the mistakes. And you're right, looking at the total yardage. Yeah, I mean, it's not like they were dominant. Now, you can see the six turnovers. That's the biggest key right there. It's the six turnovers. And then actually then the other one, which was the seventh, and gave him field position early. Second down and three. Henry Ellard in the game with his first catch of the game. So he did take off the cape. And he makes his first catch. Tito Wooten on the stop and a first down for the Redskins. Gain of 13. This is a three-touchdown game right now for the Washington Redskins, and if you have any thoughts about it, you really you really have to go with the hurry up here at six minutes. And you have to kind of run your whole offense from the front line of scrimmage. Over, over. On first down, Hostetler's pass. Albert Connell close to the first down yardage. Make that uh, Thomas. That was Chris Thomas. Thomas and uh, close to the first down. Dick, the other thing I've noticed with Jeff Hosteller watching the tape of him is is the Washington Redskins have effectively changed the way they run their passing game because they don't run any of the deep outs or outside routes. They're all now inside, and that's that's tough to throw against because that's inside is where all your defenders are. On a measure to see whether they have a first down. Norv Turner, whose Redskins started off last year at seven and one. Did not make the playoffs. And if they don't uh, get help and win their final game against the Eagles, if they go on and lose here, that'll make five consecutive years out of the playoffs by the Redskins, who are just a couple of inches short. Let me say this, though, Dick. This is a better Redskins team this year than it was a year ago. I mean, that 7-1 and one start last year it's just smelled like it was going to be a crash and burn. And this one right now, I believe this season for the Skins has been marked by a lot of injuries because, to be honest with you, they haven't had what they intended to be their starting offense all season long. Here is Hostetler, and uh, out of the backfield, Jamie Asher, and that'll be enough for the first down. But you're right, the offensive line has never been intact this year. Terry Allen went out early with injury. They lost Leslie Shepard, and let's not forget Sean Gilbert. However you rate him as a defensive lineman, his absence really left a hole in the defensive line. You know what I think with the biggest difference with the Skins? I think Gus Farratt. I don't think Gus Farratt took the step he had to take this, this year. And I think they were counting on that step, and it didn't show up. Out with a broken hip, Gus Hostetler. The last couple of weeks, first down, and Hostetler's pass is caught by Chris Thomas and a gain of about seven yards. Under five minutes remaining. In the fourth quarter, that's how much time is left separating the Giants from wrapping up the NFC East. Unfathomable when this season started that they'd be in this spot. There's Leslie Shepard right there. Right there. When they lost him, they really lost a big play guy. He was the one guy who could run and get to the middle of the field. Ball. Second down and three. Pressure on Hostetler. Flag is down. The bobble and the catch by Chris Thomas. Scott Gallion making the tackle, but a penalty back at the line of scrimmage. I'm going to go against the Washington Holding. Redskins. Yeah, Big Ed Simmons working on Michael Strahan. Against Washington. Holding. Number 76. Offense. 10-yard penalty. Second that down. That was Ed Simmons. And we've been talking about Redskin injuries. They've never really got it going. And this is the laundry list of games lost to injury by Redskin starters. That's a lot of them. <laughs> that's just uh, that's too much to overcome when you have a guy like Terry Allen you can see what the record was like when he's been on there, he can add another loss on that today, second down and 13 Hostet was stepping up and he'll be sacked from behind by Bernard Holsey in his second year from Duke who replaced first Chad Bratsky and uh, Cedric Jones, no gain on the play and the third sack for the Giants, and they're going to load up two Gatorade barrels. Well, well, you remember, possible, maybe. when Parcells was here, that was Harry Carson's domain. This is about the time when Carson would take off the pads and put on one of those yellow jackets that the security people have and made sure he found Parcells. But what a great job Jim Fossil has done without much fanfare in his rookie year as head coach. Third and 13, Hostetler's pass, and a great catch by Connell breaks away from 
the defenders and stopped at the 40. It's a Redskin first down, however. Three and a half minutes remaining. Let's go back the glory years of the Giants back in 1986 compared to what they rank now in these five categories. Pretty good. And you can see the top three. Top three are defensive. And I always believe, and you can see the turnover margin also figures into that. If you don't have defense, you're not going to win. Giants have defense with an exclamation point. Pass out of the backfield to Brian Mitchell, and Mitchell will pick up another first down to the Giant. 26, Conrad Hamilton with a 14-yard gain in the hurry up for the Redskins. Under three minutes remaining in the fourth quarter. Yeah, I think that hurry up should have happened three minutes ago. Ostetler throws it away, and that will bring up second and ten. Hey, lost in all this, I got to tell you, Sharp for Donish has played a good game. He had the groin. He didn't practice all week. He's played that left tackle spot. And he's gutted the thing out, and he and he did it with an injection. I mean, he played he played in pain all game long. He's been a game tackle for the Redskins, but now Norv Turner uh, will see his team after the tie and overtime at home lose to the Giants on the road. Giants, if it holds up, will remain undefeated against the NFC East. Hostetler throwing for the end zone to Asher, double covered and knocked away. Gallion downfield along with Tito Wooten. It's interesting talking to the Giants about the last time these two teams played. They said it was so physical that it affected them the following week, and it took a lot out of them. It was evident the Giants played poorly against Tampa Bay, and the Redskins lost at home to the St. Louis Rams. So there might be something to that. But they set their jaw, and they were, they were set for the fight today. Third down and 10. On the 27, Ostendler looking, and the, the pass intended for Mitchell, incomplete. Fourth down, and the Redskins will... Uh, They'll go for it on fourth down, trailing by 20 points. You know, one guy we haven't talked about all game long today, and it's been Jesse Armstead. Now, he's he's figured in all this defense today, and he's, he's figured all season long for the New York Giants. And I believe that Jesse Armstead is playing at, at such a high level, not only with the plays he makes, but as a leader. And I think he's the guy they've missed since LT's been gone. Question about it. 12th play of the drive. Hostetler incomplete on fourth down, and the Giants will take over on downs. The second time they have stopped the Redskins' offense. So the Giants with 2.24 remaining. On their way to an NFC East division title. Even their ardent fans never imagined. Talking to Jim Fossil yesterday, he said the high point of the year was the victory over the Dallas Cowboys after the Giants started out 1-3, beat New Orleans, and then a victory against the Dallas Cowboys here at Giants Stadium as Hampton gets good yardage. And that seemed to convince him that the team was ready to play hard. Made a statement in that victory over Dallas. And again, they found a way to win that game. In a game, really, statistically, that the Dallas Cowboys dominated. They still found a way to get it done, and that's been their mark all season long. Two-minute warning. We'll be right back. Miller Light presents... My name is... Well, never mind what my name is. Let's just say I'm an Eagles fan who happens to live in Redskin territory. To keep people from recognizing me, I have to wear a disguise to the games. Plus, I try not to call any attention to myself. You know, keep a low profile.
Poison's dark invades the fair and gives the horses ample scare. For chaos reigns and panic numb when something wicked this way comes. Zero to 60 in 5.7 seconds, the 300 horsepower V8 Lexus GS. She has a shocking past. I'm her mother. And someone wants to keep it that way. Move away from her! An all-new X-Files, Sunday at 9, 8 central. Tonight on Fox begins at 8 p.m. with primetime cops. At 9 o'clock, America's Most Wanted and Late Night Mad TV. All coming up tonight, primetime on Fox. Two minutes remaining in what will be a memory for all of these giants. Youngest team in the NFL, Rodney Hampton with the carry on second and four, thrown for a loss by Kennard Lang of about four yards. Dick, I think a couple of guys who really stepped their game up today for the New York Giants. I think Cannell made some good decisions early. I think Howard Cross had himself a nice game, and he was a beneficiary of some of those decisions. And I think Charles Way turned himself in another good performance. Again, a guy who's not going to the Pro Bowl, who probably shouldn't. And then on the other side of the ball, I think Jason Seahorn played an outstanding game. Two interceptions for Seahorn, including a touchdown after one of them. Third down and eight. And the give to Hampton. And that'll bring up fourth down and about five. They're scheming over there, I would think, about that uh, dumping the old water. Oh, it's coming right now. I'm looking at it. <laughs> oh, I double dipped them. I, I knew there were two there, and I they double dipped them. There was a reason. They got a water and a Gatorade. Tim Fossil. That's well deserved. Could be coach of the year. Well, people picked him to finish last, and they only finished first in their division. Brad Maynard with the kick to Brian Mitchell, returning from the 18-yard line with under a half a minute to go. Flags are down, and that's going to be on Leomon Evans and Jesse Armstead. Armstead ran right by Leomon Evans, got pushed in the back. Today's game was produced by Richard Zients and directed by Artie Kepner. Our technical producer is Rich Basile. Our associate producer is Larry Lancaster. And our broadcast associates are Greg Scopatoni and Jacob Ullman. The senior producer of Fox Sports is Bill Brown. And the executive producers of Fox Sports are Ed Gorin and David Hill. And thanks to Chris Visser and Dave Corris up here in the booth. As uh, Rodney Hampton got back in the clinching game for the Giants. Came back at the right time. Jim Fossil will be the first giant rookie head coach to win a division since Ali Sherman back in 1961. You know, you play this game for a lot of reasons. But the biggest reason you play this game is for this feeling right now. It's to win. And there's nothing that replaces winning. Redskins are still alive. Keep that in mind. They'll need help, though, to make the playoffs. Jeff Hostetler pass out of the backfield to Brian Mitchell. And that may be the last play of the game. Record crowd sees the Giants clinch today. Jim Fossil already has his division champs hat on. And they were anticipating that, and they got it. but congratulations. Uh, it's exciting. It's exciting for our fans with a, this big a crowd. And, you know, they, they really get into it and help us today, and I, I can't tell you how proud I am of this football team. Did you ever dream in your wildest dreams that you would come in and be able to capture the NFC East crown so so quickly? Well, uh, you know, I wanted to, and, and I know this team, they really wanted to, and, I, and that's what made it all happen for us. What will you tell the team when you go to the locker room? That we're not done playing yet this year. We've only, we've only 
gotten to where we wanted to and yeah, it's getting into playoffs and we got a lot more work to do. How'd that Gatorade feel and the water? I'm sorry? How'd the Gatorade feel and the water? Cold, cold. It was cold. <laughs> it hit me pretty hard and knocked me forward. I got tripped. Uh-oh. Go take care of yourself. Let's go after Jack. All right, Pam. Thank you very much. And our energizer play of the game was the clincher, Jason Seahorn's interception and return, 35 yards for a touchdown to seal it. And a nice job of Seahorn of breaking on that thing. Again, Westbrook fell down, but then you still, you got to take it back for six, and he does an outstanding job, and really just with the tip of the iceberg of the kind of game that Seahorn played all game long. Final score, the Giants beat the Redskins 30-10 to to win the NFC East, and we'll be back with the post-game show coming up in just a moment. For Matt Millen, Pam Oliver, Dick Stockton saying so long from Giant Stadium. NASDAQ post-game report coming right up. The Toyota Camry has been called the best car built in America, and Consumer's Digest has selected it as a best buy. So it's little wonder that the Camry has quickly become America's favorite car. And to celebrate, now you can get special leases and low APR financing on Toyota Camry, but only until January 5th. There can be only one favorite car, and there's only one place to get it. So visit your Toyota dealer today. holidays, Dave. Same to you, Red. I think you'll find this spicy chicken sandwich spicier than yours. <laughs> Not bad. But remember this? Wendy's Spicy Chicken is seasoned with Dave's own blend of pepper and spices for that spicy hit you crave. So? So you got any more in the bag? Maybe. Yeah. yeah. Right. Wendy's Spicy Chicken Sandwich. It can warm up anybody. Hey, hey, jingle bells, jingle they give us heroes, they give us hope, they let us laugh and cry and fall in love. Movies touch us as few things can. Any technology that heightens the experience of watching movies at home makes life even more enjoyable. DVD video from Philips Magnavox. Technology for the heart, the spirit, and the imagination. What are you doing? You, you can't spell hey, Pluto. Hey, I see my devil yeah. when it comes to Scrabble. Watch I, me now. You're getting on my nerves. Prolific, as in prolific slow. Nice one, Ice. Man. The Ice Man spelling prolific. Ooh, quite a coincidence. Hey, and he gets a double word score for that. Coach. Hey, that's like Penny spelling unstoppable, penetrating, or MVP. I like you spelling shrimp. <laughs> you got me, Chuck. Yeah. You should be on stage telling your funny jokes. Come from miles around to see the funny man, Chuck. Hello, I'm Lee Markwood. I've been in the car business for over 40 years. And believe me, I've seen just about everything in this business. In that time, I've come to some pretty simple conclusions about how a business ought to be run. Treat people with respect, price all of your cars and services fairly, and take care of your customers after the sale. That's what you should expect when you buy a car, and that's what you'll get at every Markwood dealership. A relaxing family vacation. A Category 3 hurricane is coming our way. Began a journey they would never forget. Welcome to Atlantis. Trapped in an exotic world of temptation and danger. You shall all die. A world broadcast premiere. Escape from Atlantis. Today on Fox 25, Fox 48. Oh, no. Is this what I think it is? Newman and I are engaged in an epic struggle for world domination. It's winner take all. The laughs begin at 6 with Mad About You. Back here in Hollywood for the NASDAQ postgame report along with Ronnie Howie, Terry, and yours truly, JB. New York Giants and Fossil winners for the first time since 90, clinching the East. Well, mistakes make started off the difference. There it is. Matt Turk flubs the snap from his brother Dan Turk. But there's the fumble recover. That leads to this play. 15 yards straight up the middle. Draw. Great running by Charles Way. Poor tackling Ronnie by the safeties. It's 10 to nothing Giants. And then Callaway over from a quick 
slant inside of Green. Safety's too flat, doesn't stop it. Touchdown, 20 to 10. Then the Hoss comes firing back. Deep touchdown to Albert Connell. That makes it 20 to 10. And then intercept. Boy, just one, to, one mistake after another. This interception, this punt fumble, that recovered by the Giants. North Turner looking on, wonder what in the world can we do? You can't win football games turning it over. Six times today, the Redskins turn it over to the Giants. This capped a 35-yard intercept to return for a touchdown by Jason Seahorn as the Giants celebrate NFC Eastern champions. Congratulations, Giants and Coach Jim Fossil. 30 to 10, the final score in New York Giants for six turnovers, and the sign says it all. NFC East Division champions. That, of course, the first NFC East title since 1990. As we come back inside to talk a little bit about this, and I mean, give the Giants credit. They did everything that was right, especially capitalizing on Redskins miscues and scoring 20 points. You know, this this game is a microcosm of both of these teams' seasons. Turnovers by the Washington Redskins, poor tackling and getting behind and having to play catch up, not being able to stop the run. The New York Giants, Jim Fossil, it's a short list, but it's a complicated list in terms of who's going to be the coach of the year. Tony Dungy, you got Mariucci, Jimmy Johnson, Marty Schottenheimer. This guy, Jim Fossil, has done an outstanding job. This was supposed to be a rebuilding year. It's a classic Giants game in the sense that they're outgained in terms of yardage. They force more turnovers. They get the ball, as Terry pointed out, in the opposition's offensive territory and score once they're in there. They take advantage of turnovers and capitalize on it. Yeah, Jim Fossil has done an excellent job of just going out, making sure that his team is fundamentally sound. They play great football. The, the thing that I was impressed with was Jesse Armstead said two weeks ago, we got to step it up defensively. They've had 11 turnovers in the last two weeks, uh, six today, and that was a high for them in this season. You got to say that this football team is really showing that they can win big games on the defense. This is the perfect year for the Giants and the fact that they have established their defense and then they take a young quarterback and then you, the turnover, the, the taking the ball inside an opponent, opponent's 30-yard line today, three of the four drives that they scored on were inside the 30-yard line and then the 35-yard interception by Jason Seahorn. That is something that is very hard to imagine that can happen year in and year out. They will get better offensively only in the last four games they've had a play, a drive which had more than 10 plays to it, but opportunistic, absolutely, NFC Eastern champions, absolutely. And no matter how you look at it, still the maturation process of Danny Connell in big games and delivering big. All right, folks, so the New York Giants do it. They win the NFC East by 20 points over the Washington Redskins. Let's take you back out to the Meadowlands and join our announcers, Dick Stockton and Matt Millen. Thank you very much, J.B., and I guess when you come out strong, the Giants were better starters than the Redskins. 17-0, scoring on the first three possessions. They were quicker, beat them to the punch early. The Redskins made mistakes, and there was nothing they could do after that. Yeah, but you said it right. See, I'm Terry, I'm sitting here, and I'm listening to you, and I hear exactly what you say. So you can't count on those kind of turnovers. It's not like they were forced, they just happened. However, the opportunistic part is something that you have to do. You get a short field, you still have to do something with it. They got that part done. I'm sitting here and I'm having these ambivalent feelings about what kind of a football team this giant team is because they're not overpowering. And if you say they're opportunistic, I, that's almost like a left-handed compliment, but they found a way to win. And that could be the, the best compliment you can make about a team. Jason Seahorn with his first career two-interception game, scoring a touchdown on one of them. And after the game, he was down on the field to talk with Pam Oliver. Let's talk about um, it, what it feels like for you guys to, to win the NFC East. It's wonderful. I mean, my three years here, we have been playing when everybody else was playing. We've been sitting home watching them. Now we have the opportunity to go out and play in the playoffs and let everybody else watch us. What was the difference? I mean, you guys came from nowhere. How did you turn that around? Uh, Matt's done. We just believed in ourselves. We fought hard. We kept going. Our defense really helped our offense out. We put them in good field position. Our offense helped us out by scoring when it counted. So it's just a matter of being a team, staying together, and not giving up. How does Jim Fossil motivate a team? The rookie head coach comes in. You're not really quite sure what he can do. Yeah, he's done good as an offensive coordinator, but how, when he comes in, how did the guys respond? They responded to him. Everybody likes him. Everybody understands the way he's trying to go about coaching. He, he motivates us with our backs against the wall. He always makes it seem like everybody's against us, and it seems like they are. You know, this season was just a wonderful season. We started off kind of slow, and everybody started doubting us, but we hung together, we stayed tough, and we were in the playoffs. Congratulations. We'll see you down the road. Thank you. All right, the Giants win, and the celebration started early. Winning the NFC East, Jason Seahorn. 
big game for him and, of course, for Jim Fossil. Right now, let's send you back to JB in the studio. All right, Dick, the Jim Fossil and company complete a worst-to-first turnaround for the New York Giants, and the reign of the Dallas Cowboys is over 30-10. to 10. So let's take a look at the NFC division picture. The Giants, of course, have locked it up with that victory today. Green Bay in the central, San Francisco in the west. As we take a look at the wild card picture, again, the top three teams have the inside shot. Keep in mind, Detroit and Carolina yet to play as well as Philadelphia. Washington still has a shot of making it into the playoffs, but they will need a victory next week over Philadelphia and some losses by Carolina, Detroit, and Philadelphia. And I know Terry should look at me and say, wow, and why in the world would they have to rely on that? But Washington certainly ran into a buzzsaw on the Giants. And again, you give the Giants credit for that turnaround. Yeah, you have to give the Giants credit. I thought the toughness that Fossil displayed in the young quarterbacks, he built it with defense. He created the turnover aspect of it. They believed they could do it. And that's how they've won year in and year out. And get this, if they win next week, we've been told it'll be the first time in the NFC East has been won by a team that has gone undefeated. Undefeated, absolutely. All right, folks, we've still got more coming your way here on this NASDAQ post-game show. Another game coming up later this afternoon, New England and Pittsburgh. We'll preview that contest, a conversation with Bill Cower after this. They created their microprocessor in 1971, and the faster their chips have performed, the faster their company has grown. Today, the Intel design is the brain behind the majority of the world's PCs. By the 21st century, their chip could execute two billion instructions in one second. Where do you learn about such fast-thinking companies? NASDAQ. Shaping the new world of investing. Personal messages. Tom Jr. got straight A's. Business info. Boss called me a genius. Entertainment scoop. My favorite song number one. Sports updates. My team three, your zip. Whatever you want is in the new Motorola Wordline pager. Personal messages plus news, sports, and entertainment. Hi guys, what's new? Oh boy. Visit Service Merchandise to see the exciting new Motorola Wordline pager and a selection of quality Motorola paging products. Happy holidays, Dave. Same to you, Red. I think you'll find this spicy chicken sandwich spicier than yours. <laughs> Not bad. But remember this? Wendy's Spicy Chicken is seasoned with Dave's own blend of pepper and spices for that spicy hit you crave. So? So you got any more in the bag? Maybe. Yeah. yeah. Right. Wendy's Spicy Chicken Sandwich. It can warm up anybody. Hey, hey, jingle bells, jingle. It takes all three of these sanders to do everything the sandstorm does. It's three sanders for the price of one. Sandstorm, built by Black & Decker. Mom's calling Enterprise Rent-A-Car, because our car is sick. Enterprise will arrange to pick you up. Wow! Drive you to our place and get you on your way. Everybody loves to be picked up. Pick Enterprise. We'll pick you up. A cop's helpful tip. If you're going to rob a house... Suspect in custody. Don't pick the one next door to a police officer. You lose. And all new cops tonight. NHL season on Fox just around the corner. It gets underway with the 48th NHL All-Star Game, North America against the world, Sunday, January 18th from Vancouver, right here on Fox. As we welcome you back to the Fox Studios, coming up later on the NFL schedule, it will be the Pittsburgh Steelers taking on the New England Patriots at Foxborough. And today our own Eric Clemens caught up with Bill Cowher to talk about how he's preparing his team for a matchup that didn't go so well last year. JB, thank you very much. Coach Bill Cower of the Pittsburgh Steelers along with me. Still hours before kickoff here at Foxborough Stadium. And Coach, do you hear the Twilight Zone theme when you think about last year, the last time you stepped on this field? Only thing I can think about is I can see the top of the stands this year. You couldn't see anything last year, but you no, know, not really. I mean, right now, you know, we're coming up here. It's, it's, it's a different year. It's a different situation. And we're just going to try to seize the moment today. All right. Uh, listen, last year you were not 
one of the two teams that had the bye week and you came in here a little banged up and didn't perform well. How important is that this time around? Have you imparted that onto your team? Well, there's no question. I think, you know, anytime you have to only have to play two games to get to the Super Bowl, it increases your chances dramatically. And, you know, last year was last year. We really haven't talked much about last year. And this year, we're kind of trying to seize this moment. We got an opportunity ahead of us a lot healthier than we were a year ago. And we got to come up here today and execute. You've been the comeback kid so far this year, but can you guys afford to get 10 points or more down this time in this stadium against this team? Oh, I don't think so. I mean, those are things that uh, you keep going to the well one too many times, you're going to fall short. So, you know, the one thing that we are is a team that recognizes, regardless of situations, there's a great will in this team. There's a resolve, so to speak. So, you know, what we got to do is, like I said, come out here and execute uh, and respond to the situations that exist. exist. Coach Bill Cower, good luck to you and your team today. Good luck in the playoffs. Thanks, Thank sir. you very much for Appreciate joining us. Thanks. Now let's send you back to the Fox Television Center in Hollywood with James Brown and JB. Going to get really cold here when the sun goes down baby I'll tell you that and that's why we're enjoying it out here right now Eric for the time being okay folks let's take a look at the AFC playoff picture and you see the division leaders what's at stake New England in the east right now Pittsburgh is clinched in the central Kansas City is clinched in the west the wild card picture looks like this the top three teams right now with the inside track Denver Miami and Jacksonville but don't count out the New York Jets, but that's the picture right now as we take a look at it. Coming back inside to talk about that game today, Pittsburgh at New England. New England a bit hampered, Howie, in that they're going without Curtis Martin at running back. Yeah, some people are going to have to step up. And uh, Pete Carroll, interestingly enough, you talk about the Pittsburgh Steelers, and the, the main that comes automatically to mind is, is Jerome Bettis. But they're really concerned about Thigpen. Thigpen picking up 19 yards a, a pop every reception he catches the ball and that picks up a lot more yardage than that four or five yards that Jerome Bettis picks up so they're concerned about that and obviously I think Ronnie Pittsburgh can do some things in the secondary because of the absence of Curtis Martin with a Carnell Lake maybe put him on coach who's a big factor yeah you're right Howie and they have to put him on being coach but the key to this game is turnovers you talk about New England New England hasn't turned the ball over the last three games and if they want to continue their success they have to hold on to the ball you, you have to in games like this. We just saw a prime example of it. Six turnovers by the Washington Redskins. You're going to lose the football game. There's just no, there's no question about that. New England coming into this game, I'm wondering, though, once again, Pittsburgh is a, a totally different football team than last year. Cordell Stewart last week threw for three, ran for two. Howie, do you spy him? If you spy him, maybe that helps you stop Bettis at fullback because you have another guy in there. But when he drops back to throw, do you go man coverage? to keep a guy on him. If you do that, Thickman continues with 19 yards of reception. Or do you do zone, now you open up lanes. Really, I think, a tough day today for New England, trying to figure out early in the first half exactly what they want to do you against throwing, Stewart. You throwing the bones down on this one? You know, I didn't do the bones. I'm, the bones are special. The bones are special, but the bones came through for me early today. What you're today. saying is you're a gutless woman. No, no, I'm you're not, not that. No, no, I'm all right with my bones. My bones are right here, and, and I, they will be on market next right. week. Ronnie and I are coming out with these bones. I will chunk them again, though, when I think I need them. Well, thank goodness Cordell hasn't been throwing any bones down. He's just make, making I'm gonna right now, as a matter of fact. <laughs> at the quarterback. You know what? This looks good. Uh, so yo, when yeah, we come back, right there. we will right continue there. to take a look <laughs> around the <laughs> NFL. Yeah, we'll go back and have a conversation with the outstanding quarterback for the Giants, Danny Cannell, when we come back. Them bones. Oh. 